Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. All right there. Oh, hey, uh, sorry. Ow. Welcome. Enjoy yourself. Where is the three dollars? In fact, is that a unicorn on the top row up there? Yeah. How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, yet he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. And maybe my carpets are magical. Oh, give your old man some credit, Marwin. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you around. Yep, up, up, and away. Listen here, pal. I'm sorry, but you're not coming through here. Hello, come in! Come in! I can see you have an eye for high quality 
Sandberg is a lunatic. No, he is capitalist. So hey, stay safe out there. Let me show you my fine Thank you. And Chase like nothing. Wanna try some? What should we do? If Crystal Dawn get involved, should we turn No, no, we can't. They will only bring more instability. No, I, please. You cannot come through here, sir. Please stop and go back. That's the way, sir. Respect. You, go see who the prankster is. Roger. Nothing but ghosts. So much for breaking and entering. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Oh. 